with our GBM. Oh, oh. I'm an IFA. Okay. What a year, y'all. It's been an honor being historian for IFA. And though the role has had its ups and its downs, and it's been rough trying to fit it within my busy schedule, being historian has allowed me to expand my creativity in ways that I could never imagine. But most of all, it offers me a position on an executive board of a club that holds so dear to my heart, and it has offered me lifelong friendships, leadership opportunities, and a community that is just so unique to me, and it would be a dream to do it all over again. So let's start with a backstory and my experiences that allow me to be qualified for this role. Since I was 11, I've been taking photos and making video skits with my cousins. I would edit everything and then I would upload the content to Facebook like a proud tita. And I received good feedback from friends, families, and even my teachers, which pushed me to keep creating and to continue to explore the world and all the stories that I could possibly tell. Through the years, I began to grow in my artistic endeavors. I took ownership of my dad's Canon 50D at age 12 creating pictures with light, long exposures, and open apertures. And in addition to that, I upgraded cameras and I created a Tumblr and a Blogspot to share my work and document my life. And though I didn't know it, I was actually exercising my writing skills and it created an eye for visuals and a way to express myself. Low key, I was an e-girl with blush and bangs and journal posts that were sad, a makeup slash anime slash indie film blog with a like sparkly cursor and a playlist that played like lo-fi beats to chill and study to. But low key, I'm still that e-girl, just like no bangs. But continuing on, when I got to high school, I traded the camera for the grades. And I thought about journalism because it gave me the opportunity to tell stories and write just to give a voice to those who didn't quite have one. I took a summer program for photojournalism and student leadership at UC Berkeley. And soon I didn't feel like journalism was my thing. So I wanted to really pursue film. And when I did that, I really had to beg. But when that happened, I got into a film program at Occidental College for the School of Creative and Performing Arts. At these programs, I not only learned the film and camera basics, I also learned to reach out to other people around me for help or if they need help and just to give back. And even though I wanted to pursue this creative route even further, my parents and family pressured me to find something else that I could make better and more money from. I thought about dermatology, law, and law just because my mom said I was really good at arguing, uh, and business, but though I excelled, I was miserable and hell, I'd rather be broke and ambitious than rich and miserable. So here I am. It took a lot of crying and convincing and self-justification just to get me here, but I'm here. A sophomore at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, majoring in film and television and minoring in business of entertainment, media, and technology. If only 11-year-old me would have known I'd come this far. I've directed, assistant directed, been a director of photography, first assistant camera, been a production assistant for student projects, and on top of that, I'm on Asian Heritage Month's marketing team, taking photos, creating promotional videos, meeting deadlines, and working on a team. I've been a historian for almost a year now, taking photos at events and creating a new feature, IFA TV. Being historian isn't light work. All content is carefully edited and carefully crafted because this is IFA's history. This is what we'll look back on and remember as perhaps the best years of our lives. And each moment is a moment that we can't get back. So the least we could do is watch it all over again. Next year, I hope to bring better quality photos, more creative videos, and a whole new season of IFA TV with advanced visuals. I'll work better on uploads by creating deadlines and communicating better with PR because I know I have been struggling with those things. And after three years of trying out for eBoard, it's been great getting my foot in the water, but now I really wanna try my best. Once again, it's been an honor being historian for this year's IFA. And with this, I hope that you vote for me for historian for 2019 and 2020. Thank you.